Oh, this place makes the best coffee. Oh, by the way, um, have you had any offers on your place yet? No, not one. The ad's been online for a month, but no one's interested. I don't know why. That's strange. Let me see the ad. Oh man, you really need a new agent. Come, I've got a plan. Let's go. Hmm. Well, first things first, we're going to have to tidy up a bit. Oh yeah. Okay, notes and thoughts for townhouse in Newton Park. Kitchenette, nice, light and decent size for one bedroom. Could use a tidy and scrub. Check ants and damp and leaks under sink. Hmm, bit dark. Could do with a skylight. Too bad. Note 2, leave curtains open. Oh no. Ugh. Air freshener to get rid of the smell of the dog. Remove all personal items. Ensure there is a TV for the next viewing. Shower's a good size. All fittings and toilet. Bit narrow. Okay, summary should fetch asking price less 5 to 10 percent. <sighs> cool. Hello? Hey, it's Sanele, the estate agent. Can I bring someone to come and look at your place tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow is fine. That's great. Awesome. He sounds very keen. We might have found a buyer. Okay, see you, see you tomorrow. And? He's coming to look at the place tomorrow. But that's amazing, bro. Congrats. Thanks for your help, bro. That's a pleasure. <sighs> if you're selling, it is wiser to disclose issues rather than hide them. You could end up in court being sued for fraudulently concealing info or not disclosing latent defects. It's not worth it. If you want to sell your house, price it correctly. Choose an agent that is right for you. Declutter and depersonalize your house so that the potential owners can imagine themselves living in it. And improve your house's street appeal. A touch up here and there makes a big difference. Good luck out there. Don't be fooled and make a smart decision.